there! My name is Bella, and welcome to the 100 Acre Wool Podcast. This is a space where I show you what I've been making recently, usually having to do with the fiber arts like knitting, sewing, or quilting. I hope to give you some inspiration to create your own things, or just to brighten up your day. This week I have a lot of new things to show you, some knitting, some sewing, my first quilt, and my first knitted finished garment. So let's get started. Okay, so first things first, my first finished knitted garment. You might remember this from last time. This is the Seven Lace Raglan designed by Emily Walton for Expression Fiber Arts. And it's finished! <laughs> I showed you this in progress last time, but I actually finished it this week. And I really love how it turned out. Um, it's very, very soft and nice to wear. Um, you can see it fits me. I'll insert some photos that you can see it better in more detail. The yarn that I used is Hand Dyed Yarn by Seven Sisters Arts. I used two different colorways. I really like it. It's sil silk and wool. Um, I don't remember the colorway. Maybe if I find it, I'll insert it somewhere. Um, but it's a fingering yarn, and the pattern actually called for lace weight. Expression Fiber Arts also makes yarn and patterns, so they call for their own yarn. Um, but I didn't have that. I had this fingering yarn. So I used this, and I didn't quite get the same gauge as the pattern, but it turned out okay. <laughs> no, I think my gauge was pretty similar to the pattern, even though I was using a fingering yarn rather than lace, which they're similar enough in size. I guess it didn't matter that much. But I really liked working with the yarn. It was really, really soft. Um, it's a high twist single ply, which I don't know if that makes it any less sturdy. Um, I think it's supposed to be drapier that way. I thought it was shiny. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but the, the yarn in person, it looks shiny, which is pretty cool. Maybe that's the silk. I don't know. But yeah, I really, so I really like how this came out. This sweater took me about two months working on it, off and on. Um, I remember there was like a week solid where I did a bunch of knitting on it, and then I moved and it got a little crazy in my life. But yeah, it, it didn't actually take very long, I think, because most of it is stockinette. It's pretty, pretty quick to blow through. Last time I had most of it constructed, excluding this top ribbing part. Um, so I added that and then I seamed in the other arm. It was a really fun make. It was a lot less scary than I thought it would be for my first garment, especially now that it fits. That's good. <laughs> so I think that's all I'll say about this one. And let me show you what else I've been working on for knitting. Okay, so for other knitting, it is getting towards Christmas time, and that means I make Christmas gifts for people. I really like making Christmas gifts rather than just buying something. If I have the time, then I like to make something for the important people in my life. Um, so for now, the coat that I showed you last week is on hold. <laughs> that thing has taken so long. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, we're not working on that right now. So it's Christmas, Christmas knitting now. So the first thing is this hat. It is called the Winter Sun Hat. So this is my first ever color work pattern. First time I've ever done color work. Um, I'm really liking it. It's it's really, really fun. It, this has been so quick to make. I've I started this and I have other knitting that I've been working on and other things. And I started this this week and it's just been so quick. I mean, I kind of got obsessed because of the color work, like seeing the pattern emerge as you, you know, knit up the hat. So a word on how big it is. It fits my head, so this isn't for me, this is for somebody else. But it fits my head around, you know, this is the opening at the bottom. It fits my head all the way around. Um, but it's kind of getting tall. It, I don't know. I mean, okay, so the gauge, <laughs> uh, all right, let me step back. I wanted to use a different yarn than the pattern said for this pattern. 
Um, it calls for a DK weight yarn, I believe it's DK. Uh, but I wanted to use, this is Jameson and Smith wool, Shetland wool. I wanted to use this, which is a fingering yarn. So I just decided to hold it double, which I know is thicker than DK, but it's not as thin as fingering. So you'll see I have two strands of each color here that I'm working with. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a thicker fabric. A lot thicker. It's really, really thick. There's no way you're going to be cold in this thing. But yeah, I, so the gauge that I got at the beginning, um, I knit a swatch and it was four and a half inches for the for the amount of stitches and rows that it says in the pattern. It was four and a half inches instead of four squared. So I don't know. I'm hoping this won't turn out too tall and it won't look like a fez or something. <laughs> I don't know. But, I mean, it fits around the head. Like, it's not loose or anything. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, this has a, it has a Latvian braid at the bottom. I think it's really beautiful. I've never done a Latvian braid. Um, and then it has this beautiful sun color work coming up. And... It's been really fun. It's been really fast. Um, I'm hoping it turns out an okay size. We shall see. <laughs> yeah, I think that's where I'll end on this one for today. I'll catch you guys up when this is all finished. So the last thing I have to show you for knitting this week, I got a little selfish. I wanted to make something for myself other than this finishing this sweater. Um, I have a lot of Christmas, knitting Christmas gifts planned. I think I can do it before Christmas comes. Um, but I got a little selfish this week and I cast on the Underwing Mitts by Erica Hoser, Hauser, I think. I'm not sure how you say her name. I'll put an image here of what the mitts will look like when they're finished. Um, they're little moths. I thought that they were butterflies when I first saw the pattern, when I first saw the photo. Um, I thought it was so beautiful. Um, so I'm using Jameson and Smith two-ply yarn, again the same as the hat, and just one strand, obviously, because that's what it calls for, fingering yarn. I'm not sure if it uses Jameson and Smith in the pattern, but that's what I'm using. Um, it's turning out beautifully, I think. Um, let's see, what colorways am I using? I'm using for the dark, um, this is 81 charcoal is the color, and for the light, I think it's FC21, it's like lavender and tan and a little bit of blue, um, I love this color, I'm obsessed. I'm also planning to, to knit the yell cardigan soon, and I bought more of this for that because I'm obsessed with this color. I really love like the variegated like look of this Jameson and Smith wool. It's really pretty. Um, <laughs> okay, so more on the mitts. They're a little bit big. I I have like extremely tiny wrists, so that's that would that will happen. Um, because there's only one size in the pattern, which is 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 totally cool. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's it's not going to be totally fitted to my wrist, so I'll just put it on to show you. So it's, they're a little bit wider than my wrists, um, but I think it's still going to work. I mean, already, this just wearing this by itself is very nice and cozy and warm. This is also my first time using Jameson and Smith 2-ply wool. I don't think it's scratchy at all. I think it's really nice. I like the woolen spun. That I th really want to get more woolen spun yarns because I think that that's really cool how like toothy and wooly it is. I really like. So yeah, this is the front. Don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. This is the front side. That's where the moth is gonna be coming up. And then the back side. Lots of cool color work going on. I don't know if you can see, there's little moons, like half moons, phases of the moon there. I just think these are so pretty, so cute. 
So I'm not sure if I'll have time to work on this more this coming week. Um, I think I need to focus more on Christmas gifts, maybe finish the hat and start on some other things because I have a lot of things planned. So we shall see. But I'll, I mean, I'm obviously going to finish these at some point. I, I really want to wear them and it's getting cold out and I go on my walks and my hands are cold so I need some mitts. So I think that's all I'll say about those. So now the next thing is sewing. Um, I said before, my coat is on hold for now, um, but I have a quilt that I'm working on now, um, which I'm planning on it being a Christmas gift. So that's why that is taking uh, priority over the coat. So I'll get into that now. So this is the first quilt that I've ever worked on. Um, it's called the Jewel Box Quilt by Jordan Fabrics. I saw it on their YouTube channel. I just thought it was so pr beautiful. So I thought I would make it for a friend of mine for Christmas. So yes, I'm planning on this being a gift, but we'll see how it comes out. It's my very first quilt. I've never even done free motion quilting or anything like that. I mean, it's straight lines mostly, straight seams. But then when it gets to the free motion quilting at the end, that is kind of scary to me. <laughs> so we'll see how it turns out. So this week, I cut out all of the fabric pieces that I needed. I'm using two charm packs that I purchased online. I love all the bright colors. I think the friend that I'm thinking about giving this to would love them just as much as I do, if not more. Um, they're all batiks, which is hand-dyed fabric. It's been very relaxing doing the straight stitching of all the half square triangles so far. So you can see I'm trimming up all the half square triangles here so that the seam allowances are perfect. I sewed them a little bit bigger than they needed to be. So it took me a while and it was pretty difficult to cut all of these exactly right. And I saw somewhere that you could use quilt batting to lay out the design of your quilt before you sew the quilt top all together. So that's what I'm doing here, laying out the half square triangles with the two and a half inch squares. I wanted to make sure I liked the layout before it was all sewn together. So now I can take each block at a time to the sewing machine and seam everything together. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell in this video, but the blocks are made up of two half square triangles with four of the two and a half inch squares sewn together in kind of a diagonal section. If I have a picture, I can insert it here. I'm really liking how the quilt top is looking and I'm happy I went with the lighter background the initial pattern used a dark background, but I think the lighter is, is better in, for what I wanted it to be. So there's still quite a bit to do on the project, and yeah, I'm definitely scared about doing the quilting. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be doing machine quilting, free motion quilting most likely, but we'll see, and I'll deal with that when I get there. <laughs> That's all I have to show you for this week. Thank you for staying to the end of the video if you've gotten this far. Um, thank you for watching. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I'm going to be putting these out as often as I can, updating you on my fiber journey. I love doing this. So thanks again, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!